Hey everyone, this is Stella Bell, and this is a tutorial to help you build the incinerator for our upcoming rug pull burn party in my CryptoVoxels gallery. So the first thing you're going to do is log into your MetaMask, and after you do that, you're going to go to CryptoVoxels.com, and you're going to hit sign in, and then you click on the MetaMask right there. The next thing you're going to do is type in Stella Bell. And once you hit enter, you should see that pop up Stella Bell's gallery. So you're going to click on that. And then if you're an owner of a crypto Stella, then if I've added your ETH address, then you have the building permissions to go ahead and start building in there. So uh, the first thing we're going to do, you see the menu on the right hand side. Now that top one is the one that you, it, you will mainly use for building. So right now we're going to build some blocks, some add some blocks in there. So the main thing is you see the green button build. You're going to click on that after you click on the tile that you want to use. And then that enables you to start building. So what you do is you line up that those little crosshairs. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is add an an image actually I'm gonna add a gif so you're gonna click on that top menu button and then hit image after you do that it'll show you this blue box and you're gonna place that wherever you want the image to be that's good next thing you're gonna do is hit the button upload right there so we're gonna just um, upload a file directly from our own computer you can do that or you know you can use a URL it's just easier to upload directly so find your file that you want to upload and then after you do that it will appear inside the gallery I chose a sort of a big file um, <laughs> I, I want to discourage us to, from using huge files I just wanted to show this one um, first just as just as an example Okay, now the next thing we can do is we can um, change it to combine or multiply or screen and combine. When you hit combine in that field, it will make your image um, opaque so it's not see-through. Um, so we can change the size there. I'm changing the size. I'm making it really big. Um, and then position, you just have to actually sp experiment to see how it moves. It's really hard to explain. You just change, you start clicking up and down and you'll see how it starts moving. So there's an image inside a CryptoVoxels gallery. That's from my CryptoStellas collection, by the way, in case you're wondering. Um, <clears throat> so when I change it to screen, as you can see, it makes it really light. It's exactly like Photoshop or GIMP or any of those image software. So um, under there, you can see multiply, screen. You can you can experiment with those um, images to, to see the effects and what you like. It's pretty easy. I didn't actually start learning about the intricate details of those until... Uh, fairly recently actually and don't worry you won't break anything it's best to just start experimenting and seeing all the different possibilities it's a little freaky in the beginning when you first start doing it but take it from me you don't have to worry there's nothing really that you can do to break it okay the next thing we're going to do is we're going to add fire so I added another image and I chose a gif by the way, I just scraped this off the internet. Bonfire. GIF. Uh, we need a huge fire for this burn event. So there we are. We've got a fire. And I'm going to change the size and the scale right there. So as you can see, I'm just going to make this thing really huge. Because we need a gigantic burn oven incinerator for this burn party. There's a lot of rug pulls that we got to burn. Okay, so like, okay, this is cool to, to look and see. You see how it's got a black um, background on that fire? Well, we can change that to transparent. I'll show you in a minute here. 
Um, it's really cool. I didn't realize that until kind of late in my crypto voxels journey, which started about nine months ago. So if you go to the blend mode, um, you can see that when you choose screen, it gets rid of that black background. And then you start messing around with the alphas and stuff, alpha tested. Okay, so that's that's it. So that's what we're going to use for the the um, the fire, bonfire gif right there. That's the mode. And once you go in there in CryptoVoxels, like I'm going to leave all of this the same, you can go in and see what the settings are and learn, you know, how to copy those settings. So we got to move the fire down. So in the position, I just, I just visually do everything. So I just start pressing buttons and see what happens and then adjust from there. As you can see, I'm using that the lower menu box, um, the, the, the fourth one down. When you click on that, it'll show you everything that's inside of the gallery, all the files and stuff. It's easy to find when you hit that. That's the very top um, menu button. That's for when you're adding something new. But if you want to change some existing file that's already in there, that's when you select the fourth one down, that last button. Okay, so now we've got, hey, we've got two. I, I, I replicated the first fire, so, you know, I don't have to redo all my work. You just hit replicate, and then you can move it around. So now I'm rotating it because I want a dual fire to begin with, and then we can add more. Of course, we can make this sucker as big as we want. It's going to be bigger than this. And what I was thinking would be cool is if we put black walls around the outside. So then when we build the fire, you know, it's like, of course, I'm open to suggestions. So we've got a good fire going so far. This is the most basic tutorial, just with the most basic things like adding images, um, changing the image blend mode. Um, adding blocks. I mean, that's a good starting point. Then from there, okay, so I want to show you something. I click on that, the glass. That's to add a clear glass blocks. So, I don't know, we might want it clear. I thought it would be cool to have black so that when you're inside the incinerator, it's like it's all hidden and we're all together in this smaller space. By the way, that gallery where I'm building the fire, that those walls can be built up really huge. Those those are that's a tall building. The other gallery, the other gallery on the other side, that's not it doesn't go up as high. So, that's something to keep in mind. Thanks for attending. The rug pull burn party will be at Stella Bell's gallery in Berlin in CryptoVoxels on January 1st, 2022. And the event exhibition gallery party area will be built by myself and Crypto Stella's owners. And we will see you there. I'll have more information coming pretty soon about the event.